Monk Day, everybody. Happy Monk Day. Happy Monk Day. Here in the land of fruit and nuts where I get to live, people talk a lot about oneness. Mm -hmm. But as one of my yoga teachers once taught me, when people start talking about oneness, hold on to your wallet and your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Because we're not all one, right? We have eaten from the tree of knowledge and have gotten kicked out of the paradise of wishy-wishy oneness. And here we are. And we're separate. And that's a good thing. Because if I wasn't separate from you and you weren't separate from me, we would not be having this experience right now. Right? In quantum physics, they talk about self-referential systems that then create an entangled hierarchy that creates a unique point of perception that becomes an observer that collapses probability into actuality. If that wasn't the case, there would be no experience. Mm -hmm. Now, that said, of course there's an underlying oneness, right? There's one universe, there's one planet Earth, there's one human family, and we better start acting that way. Because if we don't, sooner or lady, later, Lady Gaia is gonna kick us off this planet. Mm -hmm. Just like a dog is getting rid of fleas. So, time to begin acting a bit differently. Right? But, one of the things we have to do in order to get there is to overcome this infantile wish for mommy, for belonging, for feeling good. Because we have to own our individuality, to eat from the tree of knowledge and enter paradise consciously, where we celebrate our individuality with an understanding that underneath there is one oneness. And it's not all good in paradise. As long as we are separate, there's going to be situations where there's conflict. The key is to come up with better ways of dealing with conflict. And we can do so if we understand and celebrate the necessity for oneness and understand and celebrate the necessity for individuality. This way, we actually get to love our neighbor like ourselves, because we understand that ultimately the same consciousness is running through their eyes as is running through ours. And that's part of an expanded rational self-interest. Right? And it's expanded because now that we know and cannot ever ignore again that there is one Earth with one humanity, we have to act that way. And I know that I can't do anything by myself. Right? As a human, we're born naked and helpless. We need other people. We need community. And we need to own the community that we're building. And part of that is to love our neighbor like ourselves, so that we can get to the point where we live in paradise consciously, where we live in the kingdom of heaven on earth. So this week, celebrate your individuality and know that you already belong. You are already one with everything. There is nothing you have to do but be your authentic self. Happy Monk Day!